I built a traditional Japanese house out of Lego, but I challenged myself to not use any pre-made bricks, meaning pieces that have an intended use, like this Lego cannon, are not allowed. Unless I want to use these pieces out of context. For example, this cop is used as decoration in a Tory gate. Now that we have all the exposition out of the way, let's take a look at what a traditional Japanese house actually looks like. A lot of these houses are made from big wooden beams that contrast with the white walls. And the roofs look like two exponential functions stuck together. Don't believe me? Here. From what I found on the internet, this is one of four traditional Japanese roof designs called a kiritsuma. Kiri... Kiritsu? Kiritsu? Ma? Kirizuma. A, a, a gabled roof. The roof design I'll be making is called Irimoya. and is a combination between a hipped and gabled roof. But before we can build up the roof, we need to build the walls. I would probably have used these Ninjago pieces that resemble paper walls if not for the challenge. So I'll have to make them myself, which, as usual, I did in the most overcomplicated way possible. After making three of them, it's time to make the entrance to the house, which I made using these round slopes with another one on top but flipped 180 degrees. Now onto the base. To make sure the wall isn't completely flat, I'll use jumper plates to off-place these wooden beams by half a tile. Using another jumper plate on top, I'll make sure it aligns with the rest of the studs. I thought about not using these beams because of the challenge, but I realized that these are also made in other colors and aren't necessarily supposed to be a wooden beam or something. Now it's time to place the walls and door. Or rather, lack of a door because it's really just a hole in the wall. Oh, yeah. I then place some extra plates on the top to make sure everything is secure. So let's get on to building the roof. I'm going to create a texture for the roof using three different ways. First, for the part that's going to be the hip roof, I'll use black and dark blue cheese slopes to create the roof tiles. These will be placed on the front and back of the house. For the sides, I'll create textures by alternating slopes and tiles. Finally, on the top, I'll extend the build just a little bit more using a red and white color scheme. And to make the roof, I use black plates textured with quarter round tiles as the roof tiles. Oh, and quick disclaimer, I'm not saying every Japanese house looks like this, I was just inspired by Japanese architecture. So, let's take a look at the final result. Oh, and before you leave, if you're interested in anime, watch this video where I built Jotaro from Jotaro's Bizarre Adventure out of Lego. 